Hey guys, how you doing? It's KJ from the scariest movie ever made at RiggedReality.com. We're taking a look at America's Sweetheart. That's Lady Gaga right there. Uh, face covered in blood, which is appropriate because the story that is going all over the internet today, January 3rd, 2012, is that Lady Gaga left a hotel not long ago after one of her shows with a bathtub covered in blood and still filled with blood. All right. Now the weird part to me is, well there's a lot of weird parts to this, but the first weird part is I don't know why this story just broke today. I did a little digging and I believe I found the original source. All right, we're going to go and jump over to that. Then I'm going to make a few other uh, connections with you today on Lady Gaga. And uh, you're going to see some pretty bizarre stuff that you may not have seen on her before. Because I know there's a lot of common stuff out there on her, like the conspiracy stuff. But I think I found a couple other things that are kind of interesting you might not have seen. All right. Okay, so here's the original story and it's over here at truthquake news that's truthquake.com all right and as you can see right there it's actually from september 26th 2011 all right so again i don't know why it's just breaking today but uh, i mean it doesn't take away from the relevance just pointing that out anyway here we go lady gaga bathes in human blood meets with freemasons says london concierge exclusive report i'm going to read some of this here real quick for you okay a uh, housekeeper at London's Intercontinental Hotel reported on Sunday that Lady Gaga, during a previous day this summer, left large amounts of blood in the bathtub of the fashionable suite that she'd occupied. Uh, the maid had reported the incident to the concierge, Andrea Miller, and of course, Andrea Miller did the politically correct thing by saying, quote, put it out of your mind, <laughs> all right? Uh, which I'm sure wasn't easy to do. But anyway, here's the maid's name is being withheld by Scotland Yard for her protection. Whether this incident was a satanic ritual or not is unknown. Miller confirmed Lady Gaga's bloody hotel incident to truthquake.com by email. And here's where it gets even weirder. It was also noted to our reporter that at the time of the incident, Lady Gaga met with leaders of the Scottish Rite Freemasons, which is, of course, an organization known to be a link between the Illuminati and members of the British royal family. We're going to cover some of that, too. We're going to jump over to that here in just a second. Before I do, I want to run through a few, few pictures over here. Um, this is easy right here, man. I just uh, jumped into a search engine, put in pictures of Lady Gaga Illuminati, and man, you get like millions, all right? And I yeah, know most of the people who are into this stuff have already seen a lot of these things. For those of you who haven't, let's check this out. Um, first one right here is, uh, it's pretty telling, and it's, and it's pretty obvious for those that know about the symbols, but there's the Illuminati pyramid in the back with the eye, the sun behind it, which is a sign for illumination, of course, and she's doing the, quote, OK sign, which is actually the sign for 666. And it uh, was used for that uh, way, way, way before anybody started using it for, quote, OK. That was just the way to make it palpable for the public, really, which is the way most of these symbols and, and uh, symbol symbology usually works. They'll find a way to incorporate it, uh, you know, into just regular everyday life. We're using the signs that they're familiar with. We don't even know what we're doing. Uh, one of uh, the most popular, of course, is the, you know, the satanic, uh, you know, fingers or whatever, you know, the longhorn sign, the heavy metal sign, whatever. Man, that sign's been used for just years and years and years before, you know, the Longhorns came around or before heavy metal was even around, okay? So anyway, there's that. Um, let's take a look through here at some of these images. Right there, she's actually wearing the Baphomet on her head. It's a hair hat, but it's in the shape of the goat god Baphomet. I'm going to show you a little more on him in a second. Uh, a little montage of all the Illuminati eye symbols she does, all that good stuff. Here's the Baphomet stuff right here. She's uh, doing the as above, so below, all right? And that's with her arms and I'm going to show you a Baphomet real quick here. And that way, it'll make a little more sense. Cool, here we go. And that's that's Baphomet right there. Basically, uh, you know, a symbol for the devil. But, um, you know, the, the, the popular goat god among the Freemasons. You can find this in their lodges. You'll find it in a lot of their writings and their books and all that good stuff, okay? And of course, more one eye right there, Illuminati eye, all through there, okay? Now... I want to jump over to another picture in here real quick. I'm going to make a few connections with it as well. And that is a picture of Lady Gaga, who is actually meeting with Queen. All right. And just got to dig it up, and right there it is. Okay. I'll take a look at this. It's Lady Gaga right there wearing all red. Queen's wearing a weird black robe. Uh, Masonic handshake. Lady Gaga's got the red eye, of course, covered up for the Illuminati. Another thing to take into consideration here is everybody there is wearing the traditional, quote, satanic colors of red, black, and white. And you can look that up for yourself as well. Those are very, very common colors, uh, you know, associated with Satanism. All right? So there's that. And, you know, another thing to think about as well is that, you know, not everybody gets to meet the queen, okay? 
But you got to consider, of course, the bloodline of the uh, of the royals, their connection with all of our presidents, the connection with Illuminati, and, and all that good stuff, all right? So keeping that in mind, let's jump over here to a really interesting book. I suggest this to anybody, but it's called Mummies, Cannibals, and Vampires, The History of Corpse Medicine uh, from the Renaissance to the Victorians. I mean, a little blurb from this book, it basically goes into kind of the royals' history of cannibalism, all right? But a little... Little blurb is uh, British royals who have long been famed for their love of lavish banquets and rich recipes also had a taste for human flesh, and that's according to the book. Um, I've gone through some of this. I haven't read the entire book, but I've seen bits and pieces here online. Really interesting stuff. I need to read the whole thing myself, but I thought it was interesting just to make that connection. Another interesting connection with this is that Prince Charles, a few months ago, this story came out. Uh, they, I, I want to say they found out that he was related to Vlad the Impaler, but I'm sure they already knew that. For some reason it was released. But yeah, the royal family is actually related to Vlad the Impaler. And if you don't know who Vlad the Impaler is, you know, check him out. He's, he's basically the closest thing we have, at least that we know of, to uh, an actual vampire. All right, So there's that connection, All right, which I thought was kind of cool. And now I'm going to jump over from there to um, this right here. Now... There's a card game that came out back in the 80s, and it was called uh, The Illuminati. It's an Illuminati card game, and it was made by a guy named Steve Jackson. And uh, the weird thing about this game is that, uh, you know, again, it came out like, what, uh, you know, 30 years ago, something like that? But since it came out, a lot of the things that, ha that happen in the game have actually happened in real life. And this is not because this dude's a prophet. He's another insider, like all these guys. Uh, that's why you see a lot of the 9-11 symbology in movies and, and stuff like that. And, and that's, all, that's, that's all stuff for uh, another story. Okay, and we'll cover that some other time. But anyway, yeah, so I thought that was kind of interesting. Here's the Weird Turn Pro card. And looks kind of like a Lady Gaga type. Got a little fashion-y type dude right there with the uh, Illuminati pyramid glasses fixing up that fancy hat. And you see right there next to the picture, you know, Gaga wearing her weird hat. And it's all Baphomet symbolism again, right? So then you're thinking, no, no, man, that's, that's crazy. It's a weird connection. It couldn't be, you know, the Illuminati card game and the hat. Check this out, man. I mean, again, it could be a loose connection. I don't know. <laughs> Until I saw this, I thought this was kind of interesting as well. Let's take a look at this card. This is also from the Illuminati game. It's the Deprogrammers. You know, the Illuminati pyramids and all this good stuff. And there's the artist. There's the deprogrammers, because as we know, most of these uh, artists today are <laughs> are mind-controlled. And that's, all, and again, another story for another video. Uh, but look up MK Ultra sometime, beta programming and monarch programming, all right? And then you jump over here to this picture of Gaga. And, uh, you know, with her deprogrammers, or bodyguards, as they'd have us believe. And there you go. So anyway, guys, I don't know about the Steve Jackson stuff, quite possibly. I think it's interesting. It's something to think about. But, uh, you know, just in closing, you know, take a look at this. Take a look at this Lady Gaga. Take a look at the images. You know, she tries to come off as this good Catholic schoolgirl and uh, all that good stuff, but she's certainly not presenting herself in that way. And, uh, you know, lastly, I would say with that is that, you know, if she was a, a good Catholic, you know, which don't get me started on the Catholics, that's another story altogether, but either way, you would think she'd know some of her Bible, and I'm sure she probably does. But, you know, the Bible even says that, you know, even if something looks evil or, or, you know, looks wicked, you know, we're supposed to shun it. We're supposed to flee from it, you know. We're not supposed to, uh, you know, mimic it and um, benefit from it and profit from it. But anyway, as you can see, um, this is a person who's definitely, definitely not running away from it. All right, that's Lady Gaga. So I don't know, guys, what do you think? Lady Gaga, bathing in blood, connections to the Masons, the royal families, the cannibals, and blood rituals, and all that good stuff. Well, let me know what you think.